Okay, so so many of you asked for this video and I get why, I know why. Because Terran received a massive nerf. Basically the camp plant was removed and the fire beds were just made useless. So we are going to try out a really simple yet powerful build. And this is easy to execute and really really strong. Now where's the CV did? And already we are up for a horrible game. Or not really. Don't do that, don't lose your CVs. So how this build order goes is you first split your marines, get first two gases, then a spectre. So in case the Zerg just gathers all his army and sends it towards me, I can use his um, ground pulse ability to just massacre that whole army so I can be broken. So we have our gases, our spectre, and now we are going to get two fruit farms, one here out of the gates and then one inside our choke right here. And then we are just gonna mass fruit farms and we're gonna build as many as we possibly can, as we can fit. So for this you might want to get more than one SCV. Oh come on, he's sending quite a few stuff at me. And uh, after the Spectre you really want to get Reapers as many as you can. Because they do not require energy. And uh, that alone makes it so much more simple to play. As, and he's sending a lot at me. Now what you would usually do if the Zerg is not sending everything that he's got towards you is you would use the Reapers to kill this rock to get this gas, this gas geyser. But now this is a little tricky. And we lost another SCV. He's focusing us. No, no, no. And we've lost another one. And he's obviously focusing us. So first rule, do not lose any marines. Do not lose any troops. You can lose Zico, but don't lose your defense. We can see here that this is pretty bad. No problem. If you get pushed and focused, you just fall back to this one gas, this one refinery. So you make sure you will not lose all your eco. Now get more Reapers. A third DCV. Just cancel this. If you get pushed back, if you get focused, you just go to one farm and one refinery okay this is what you do now why is he sending everything to me you will get a second spectre this makes it easier to defend if he's focusing you if the desert player is sending almost everything that he's got towards you and as you can as you can see here he's not sending anything to the others so just fall back and wait for him either to fall back or just give your teammates enough time to expand so just get reapers fruit farms and ship farms and get three ships to eat your fruits every fruit farm can sustain a maximum of three ship so per fruit farm you don't want to get any more than three ship So when this one is saturated, you'll just build more ship farm and saturate this one. Now if he was not focusing me, we would go get both our gases, fill everything with uh, 
fruit farms. And eventually, if he's still not focusing us, get our third guess. But I guess this is the worst case scenario, so... Uh, yeah. This is really educational. You are learning a lot from this. So basically, this is the scenario in which most Terrans just lose. Just fail, they push back all the way. You should never do that, you should always have at least one gas geyser taken, at least one. And when you can hold the zerg, just take a couple reapers and make them attack the rock. Pull them to kill the rock, so that you can get this geyser right here. It's very important that you balance your eco with your defense. Okay, so we have another farm saturated now oh, he's still focusing us we can see already yellow pushing so don't panic there is still a room for a comeback why can i can i still get cheap no hmm. so at this point i'll just no 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 He's sending more to me. If this is happening, retreat everything from uh, the rock and make them hold position in the center of your resources. This should hold the zerg just fine. Now if you don't necessarily need more reapers or defense, you can upgrade your gas. Ooh, I've lost another one. This is not ideal. Okay, we'll just replace them with two and we'll upgrade our refinery. So, when you're getting overwhelmed, you never want to take more than one gas. Because then you're gonna have to split your units, which is gonna suck. Because your shock troopers will not be able to make full use of their splash damage. And I'm running out of energy. And I've lost another Reaper. So if this keeps happening, just upgrade energy, upgrade the energy, because you will always need specters. Come on, why do I not have any energy? I've probably not put my sentry to patrol the right way. So he has been focusing us for ages. But we still got the gas, so that's good, that's a good sign. In the worst case scenario, here we have it, you can hold pretty easily with the Reapers and Spectres. Upgrade the energy generator once so you make sure that you don't fall to you getting focused. Now if this happens you just fix your gas, your refinery so you don't lose it because this one is really expensive if you want to replace it. So if you have excess minerals, just get more reapers to get the rock and get the other gas, the second gas geyser. Just like this. Okay, now we're stable. Now we're good. So most likely the last update with will stay relevant throughout the year 2020 and maybe even the whole half of 2021 so consider this a tutorial for the whole next year because nothing's gonna change much with the new updates what really happened is that the turtling style for Terrans got a massive nerf because don't have chemical plants and just going for early fire bits is no longer an option. So when you get, when you got the rock, what you're gonna do is just get another farm, fruit farm that is right there. So we can saturate it with more ship. 
So with your minerals you get reapers and upgrade your refineries and with gas you get more fruit farms and sheep farms. This is pretty easy to do. You don't even have to micro a lot with this build. Upgrade it as fast as you can. Don't want to waste time. So next, for the second stage of the game, you really want to defend on one side with the the construction yard so you're gonna place this building right here and then around it walls in order to block the enemies and then on the other side you wanna get the armory which is gonna boost your soldiers attack attack damage and range so we can see now that we've stabilized it's not sending everything to us so we're gonna just push him and then while our most of our units are here we need to get the construction yard on this side and we need a couple more CVs for this task while this is building you also wanna get your walls just like this this will be more than enough to hold the zerg back and this is still a lot of zerg so we are gonna get more reapers and just a lot more of them and if you see that you're holding even with the third gas just take that third gas take it build it So now if you've pushed the zerg back a couple inches now we really wanna get our base running so on this side the construction yard and this side we'll just get the armory he got the HP upgrade for the zerglings but this is not gonna be a problem because our reapers do not require energy now about at minute 15 or 16 they will get roaches so um, for roaches you will either want to have regular marines but upgraded or a tech lab with high energy with much with many stacks now since we are not gonna use energy we are just gonna go for the marines it's almost minute 15 we must start the preparations, upgrade your gases as soon as you can. Get some ACVs on the yard side. And we get a couple um, fruit farms. We definitely need to fill everything up with them because they give way more minerals than the sheep farms. And it's that much better if you can saturate them with sheep. Now we gotta be careful here, we still need marines and for them we wanna get this, the plus one damage bonus and the shatter ability and then lots of marines because roaches are gonna come soon so this is set, couple more farms, this is not the best placement but we're kind, we're um, in trouble now just get everything in the aura of the building so they get the plus two range and plus one damage first we're gonna get the shatter and then 10 marines and after this we want to get the plus one bonus damage And with an additional 10 or 20 marines, we should be able to hold the roaches. And also you need to upgrade the energy at the same time, because marines will require a lot of energy. Now this is the most gas we're ever gonna get on this mode. Because we cannot build chemical plants. 
So next phase, if you can hold against roaches, pretty much. You wanna get tier 2 marines. You wanna get a lab and then upgrade to the next tier of marines, which is the veteran. I think they lowered the cost. Now they're much cheaper. And we really wanna push with this with these guys as soon as we have them now with any extra minerals if you can hold just upgrade the energy and if you're just starting to have too much energy the generator is getting full just get a tech lab so you'll be able to transfer the energy into this thing and per stack it gets bonus damage so this is what makes it so good so you're gonna use the extra energy from this thing to power this thing now we can see that we are not doing too well we are doing pretty good I mean yellow is so OP because he focused me because red sent everything to me I think yellow is the strongest we have a real chance of winning now once you go detect lab when this is built you want to turn on the automatic charging and the automatic charge up so you make sure you are not wasting energy so every time a battery is gonna come close to it it's gonna give it all its energy and as soon as it has the lab that is as it has 1000 energy it will just get a stack you can see here the damage this can get really high really quick and you have if you have this stacked up, you're pretty much set, you can defend against anything. So we're just gonna get the upgrade for the next marines, next tier of marines, and we want to push as soon as possible. Now we can see yellow is already pushing. So see this is the worst case scenario, and we're still doing fine. If you can, you want to get this one, the quick train upgrade for the marines. Why? Because if you're gonna still have the normal marines, they are less energy efficient. So they will consume more energy, even though you're gonna have also veterans. So the best way to do it is really to get the quick training upgrade and then just promote them one by one this has four stacks that's pretty nice now I don't know what this Zerg is doing but if he got pushed so hard by green and yellow I guess he's lost most of his income because that's the thing every time you put the Zerg for every spawner and extractor that you kill, you lower their economy significantly. So that's a thing to keep in mind. So here if the Zerg was attacking, was really going heavy on these walls, what you do is, you would just get 4 defenders, use their amplify ability to amplify the damage reduction bonus on the construction yard and then they would just hold on themselves on their own okay roaches now we're prepared for that we have more than enough marines oh also you want to get the overcharge now it is much in our bank you want to get a couple more minerals for more marines and the energy upgrades 
Now, why is this not filling? Oh, it's not patrolling like it should. Okay, so you really want to make the batteries patrol in the range of the generator and then back to everything else. So we're just gonna get a couple ship farm. Make sure you have all your marines upgraded. Okay, nice. And soon we're gonna hoard some marines and just push. They have roaches. We can see that black knew how to balance his offense a bit better than red. I mean, yellow is not the best player out here, but he's definitely good. I'm not sure if he will be able to push with this many specters. I don't know if this will help him much. But I see it's working. I guess he's gonna use the damage ability on them to get rid of this. Of this big spine. Now we'll just get more marines. Just because we can. Because we need like 20 or 30 to make a good push. You'll get more sheep, three sheep per fruit farm. Can you get more? Maybe, but not really. Okay, this is bad. Revators, this means that their range will allow them to attack directly your construction yard. And this is bad because this is not very tanky, it's not very tanky. So we'll just get more SCVs because there are infinite numbers of, of SCVs that can repair the same structure. So if you get like 10 or 15 of them around the construction yard, it's gonna be impossible for them to break this, to break the yard. So you're gonna use their Defender link to amplify the damage reduction aura And we should be fine So red is pretty much Pretty much empty it doesn't have anything So we have about 20 marines perfect for a push we're a bit late because we got focused, but no problem. We're gonna just move a battery to sustain our army and then just use E on their structures. And then just get as many as you can. Focus the extractors and the spawners especially. You don't really need to go for the spines. We really need him to get the big spine. Okay, so this is getting full. This is filling up. So it's a bad thing because if it, it if it's filling up, it will not produce any extra energy, and we lose pretty much energy. So just get a couple more of these big batteries. More veterans, and get more stacks on this thing. They have so much gas. Get more minerals. And at about 350 income, we should uh, start upgrading our marines again with the gas. And at this point, the game should either be lost or won. Ours is kind of in the middle. So he wants to attack. More marines. Just go for it. Time to push. Now you can see even the roaches are easily falling. Our 
come on, come on, dude. I need your help. I need your specters. Make sure to leave something home to defend. Why is it going here? I have no idea. So next you wanna get the deflective shatter which is gonna higher the damage of your main shatter which is really good great to have okay we have gathered a pretty hefty amount of marines now you go push again I mean the spines are gonna be a problem but if he will not transfuse it will be pretty easy check this out I've lost like four marines but it's okay we got his spawners this is beautiful now we must be careful because there are more big spines right here we can see one we don't have energy so we won't quite get close to it back off okay nice these are keeping my generator producing energy as it should come on stop stop acting like this just patrol here why is it not What is it doing? Come on, go to... Okay, we're just gonna get more batteries. Sometimes they bug and they can quite patrol. Energy efficiency, we won't need this for a while. Okay, they're getting big roaches. This is not a good sign. So if you've got energy, what I suggest doing is really use the stasis to damage their big spine so that you can push them easier. Like way, way easier. Now, we'll just get more marines, more energy, we'll hoard it all in many batteries. We'll just go for the big push. Which is basically gonna end the game. It should end the game. I don't know if it will. We would need, I don't know, about 80 marines in order to get both hives. Get as many batteries as you can, more marines, they are at primal roaches, this is not a problem, we can still handle them. I mean, you can see I've been focused for most of the game and I'm still doing pretty well. Just holding on to one gas and then when I can push them, I just push them into the other two gases and our income is pretty much perfect. Now this is a lot of energy, I think we can just go, we have I think more than enough. It really depends on how much Black has, because he's gonna fall, oh, this is an infused road, this is not okay, it's dealing a lot of area damage to all of my marines, but we got this, with enough marines you can do anything. This is the lesson of the day. So about what's this? 70, 80 marines. Perfect. You're just gonna... Uh, 59, not quite, but still. We don't have time. It's just gonna get more roaches. More stuff. Now use the move command. To move all your stuff towards here. 
while using the E ability to deal damage to their big spines. Hot kitties. Even though it does not really show it, these are really taking damage. So we just go, going for the kill. Go, 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 go. I don't know if this is enough. Come on. No, no, no. This is not enough. We might die. We might lose because of that one mistake. Now that was a bad idea. I've still got stuff that it's alive. But these guys aren't really pushing. Yellow has been left alone for pretty much the whole game. I think we should push back. Yeah, yeah, back, back, go back, please. Oh god. Now we're prob probably gonna die here. But we've done pretty well, we've done so well. It's just that I cannot push by myself. I'm dead guys, well played. So you can see here, even in the worst conditions, we can still do pretty impressive feats of strength. I pushed them pretty hard, even though I did not have a lot of people. You can see this guy has been left alone for, for the whole game and now he's not really doing anything. You always need to hold on to, to your eco and not lose your army. It's simple, but even then, it's really hard to execute. He he doesn't even have advanced shatter. Why is he getting so many farms? Let me tell you something. If you're making it into the late game, you're probably gonna die. Because Terran, they raise their economy pretty linearly. They cannot get past a certain point because they can get only four guesses. But the Zerg can get as much as can get as much as, go as they want. So they grow exponentially. The more economy they get, the easier for them it is to get even more economy. So I highly suggest every time you play, try to end the game early as Terran or you're gonna lose. And now they can't do anything, they cannot push. I mean they could if they would coordinate. But this guy still has basic marines. So he can push, you need at least veterans to push. He has elites, but he has few, so he's not really an option. And this guy, he has vets, but not many. This guy still has a couple of vets, but this will start. This will still not be enough because the Zerg now has so many more spawners and has infused roaches. Green and yellow. You should really push. Or we dead. Now this is how you would do it. If you were not focused the whole game almost. The push could certainly work. But at minute 27 when I did it was quite late but if they pushed at the same time and if they had the marines to push they would have ended the game but anyways that was a perfect demonstration of what Terran can do Terran is OP even with the nerfs you can still easily just smash the zerg if you have at least two good Terran players on the map. 
what is he doing is transferring the elites that's okay but if they are not gonna push soon enough or or yes 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 the iron but they needed to coordinate better to know that the iron is coming even with this I don't think you can win no that's not enough but you can try it's certainly fun to watch at least one hive come on get that one hive <laughs> nice nice and there it falls now the infused come and uh, they're lost that was a good attempt you should push he got the infused road spawners which is good this push was not in vain well played yellow even though you could have had more elites now the iron is fading and if you want to take anything from this play safe because the Terran is so strong that even when you play safe you can get really strong basically what they did with the chemical plant is they removed the Terran good late game now it's basically the same game if you just end it before minute like 40 ish but if the game goes for too long the Terrans are bound to lose now go on top kill big spines go for the kill or they could do it with the uh, ions this is still a viable option you can just iron it this is still winnable So with one hive gone, now they have time to get the other. Just I need how many more times? If four more times, and it's GG. Four more ions, and we've won. One hive less is actually a lot. That was big. Gray is also getting um, elites. I don't know. The infuse are still so good. To kill them, you pretty much need uh, a lot of DPS. Like you've seen with my Marines, you need like 50 veterans. Just need a lot of damage there is no around it because it deals damage per second as long as it stays next to your units he's doing well too like 30 veterans are enough to get the infused to counter them it's not hard to counter them but it's also easy to lose to them now it's simple just iron the hive It's too risky. Just iron. If we do damage with anything but iron, you give hive region. It would be really risky. 
to not get it with iron. No, you cannot. Not enough. You need like 40. Uh, you should really focus that infused. Focus infused. Good job, good job. Please, Ion. Come on, guys. Four Ions and it's GG. Why are you making it last so long? Just the hive. No, why? I mean, I don't think it will be that different. No, still three ions can get it. No, no, this is not enough. You need like 40 elites. It's really hard to push into this. You can't, you can't. But green can. Nice, nice flank. Will he? Come on, so close. No! 20 HP. Iron. One iron. All it takes. Come on, guys. I mean, I'll, I told them it's risky. But it definitely looked cool. Green, please iron. Why does he not iron? I mean, I know I'm repeating myself here, but... It's the only way to win. You could push. But again, it's risky. two ions and it's over come on I mean I don't really want to win this because I've already showcased you how good the Terrans are even in the most dire scenarios but still it would be really nice if you could just win this and not lose You could do this, you could jump. Scan, scan. Scan, 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 scan. Oh, you can do it without scanning! And <laughs> they're coming. No, 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 oh my. We're going back to two ions. He's almost a Tyan. This guy's gonna lose all his charges. Oh my god, no. This is so dumb. I guess it's okay. Why? Come on, iron it. Could have just ironed it a couple times. I guess it's fine. I mean yellow is at least a little bit aware of what's happening. I think these walls can hold. Yeah, they can. Hmm. We are back to three ions required to kill the hive. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay. 
we are lucky that the red focused me the whole game so that he lost most of his income and with that he lost also a big part of black's income so if you don't know how this works basically every spawner that any zerg gets boosts the echo of both the the zerg so if any spawner dies both zerg get punished so the fact that red didn't really know how to do it was painful for the team One more iron. It's falling, but it doesn't really matter because he just used the iron. Well played, green. He could have used the energy to save himself. Yeah, it only takes one. Yellow has been playing really well, even though he's camping. This is proof that camping is not totally dead. That, as you can see, half the map, half of everything that Zerk has, has been wiped. And they don't really have an economy. Now he's focusing yellow. I don't think he can break him. Actually, this is a lot of attack upgrades, 19 versus only 9 for yellow. I like that Gray built his tech lab inside the base. Now he can just pull back turtle and iron one last time. If Zerg right now had another hive, this would have been GG. The Zerg would have just gotten an Omega Lisk and ended them both. One thing to keep in mind is that in this game, if you don't have a decent team, you're pretty much gonna lose as Terran. You need a good team, you need at least a decent team. This is 34 charges. He's gonna lose all his walls, but it's fine because his layout is good and he's got 20. No, he's got still 9 armor upgrades. But still, this allows him to camp easily survive for a lot of time why is it kept no 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 please use energy i think that's it i think we won 45 do you need 45 charges what is the maximum Are you gonna iron? I think he's waiting for uh, minerals. Italis, why? Just why? Okay, nice. I don't know why he got an Italis, but I guess if he's not gonna die anytime soon, it's fine. Oh, I see why he focused me. Because I had the most games. Oh, that's why the first rule. Oh, never mind. 
they just m exterminated these infused In like four seconds they were all gone well played everyone and that was it guys a tutorial on how to play Terran in Zerg Hex good team good Zergs nice game